Hey everyone, so today I'm doing a nail tutorial and this is a nude and stripe look. Now I'm actually trained in nails, I used to do nails as part of my living alongside makeup. So I'm going to be using my professional kit but you can definitely do this with ordinary polish or a home gel kit. I'm going to start off by showing you how to remove your old gel polish. This one I've had on for a couple of weeks now and it does need to be removed. If you only want to see the application method then skip forward to the 3 minute mark and you can see the tutorial from there. If you already work with nails and you'll be familiar with the C&D Nourishing Remover, but my preference is Ordinary Cheap Remover. The idea of the nourishing one is so that it looks after your nail bed and doesn't dehydrate it too much. I would just always recommend that you give your nails a breather every now and again and you should get on fine with Ordinary Remover. I like to use these soak off nail clips. I honestly find these to be more efficient than wrapping your nails in tinfoil and you can get these on eBay for like $2.99. So I take a cotton pad and I rip it into four and then I take each of those four individual sections and I tear them apart. You only want a very thin piece of cotton to help soak off your polish. So I'm going to do one hand with the C&D polish remover and then I'm going to do the other hand with the generic polish remover. You'll see that the cheaper version is just so much more effective. So I put the cotton pad directly over the nail making sure it completely coats the nail. Then I place the nail clamp directly over the end of the finger encasing the nail and the cotton pad. Then I set my timer for 15 minutes. Now with the nourishing remover, it is done in about 10. It's definitely a lot quicker, but it's still not as effective as the other ones. I wanna show you the 15 minutes so you can compare the two. Halfway through, I like to apply a little bit of pressure to the nails and just give them a wiggle. Now you can use an orange wood stick for this part so it doesn't damage your nails. I'm using a metal cuticle pusher. And I'm gonna lay it flat against the nail and scrape off the remaining polish that's gone all soft. It's really important when you're using something that's metal on the nail that you're not actually removing your nail bed itself, you're only scraping off the polish, so you have to be very gentle and use it at the right angle. I'm now scrubbing the nail bed with a little bit of cotton wool and the nourishing remover, just to clean up, and that's one nail done. This is the hand that's been soaking with ordinary nail polish remover for 15 minutes, and as you can see, when I remove the clamp and the cotton wool, the nail polish literally just comes off, and only two small sections need removing with a cuticle pusher. It's so much quicker, so much more effective and so much more efficient and my nail bed is still very, very healthy. It's not dehydrated and I'm not having to scratch at the surface to remove anything. So that's how I remove my gel polish. Before I start my next application, I always go around my cuticles and remove any of the dead skin. I know it sounds gross, but everybody's got it. So it needs to be done to prevent premature lifting at the end of your nails. If you like to use a cuticle gel, leave it to soak for at least 10 minutes and you'll find that your cuticle skin literally goes stringy and comes off no problem. This is my lamp, this is from Gelish. It's not who I trained with, I actually trained with C&D but I like this lamp because it's an LED lamp. It's got three timer settings, a 5 second, a 20 second and a 30 second. And what I love about this particular lamp is it doesn't make a noise, it's not fan assisted, it's not like a UV lamp, it's silent. I'm going to use my pH bond by Gelish. This is just going to dehydrate the nail and prep it ready for my base application. This isn't a sponsored video, it's just the products I like to use. Next I'm taking the Gelish foundation. This is going to create an adhesive layer between the nail plate and the gel polish. You want a very very thin layer of this. I only dip my brush in once and use it for all five of my nails. And it's really important that once you've been down the entire nail bed and around your side walls, you want to cap the very end of your nail and this is going to prevent lifting from the front end of your nail. Once I've done all five, I will then put them into the lamp and cure this base layer for five seconds. For the overall colour, I'm using OPI's gel colour in Tiramisu for two. This is a really lovely pinky nude shade. I'm going to be applying two layers of this and again you want each layer to be really thin. Make sure you go close to the epinychium, which is the cuticle area, but make sure you leave a gap so you don't want it to touch that skin. And again, also make sure you cap off the end of your nails, and this way we're going to prevent it from lifting and shrinking in the lamp. That's the first layer, and we're going to cure that in the lamp for 30 seconds. We're now going to repeat the same process and reapply the colour over the top. If you're using ordinary polish, then apply a clear base coat, then apply two layers of your ordinary colour, similar to the colour that we're using now, and then you'll be up to speed with me. Once that's been cured for 30 seconds, I'm going to move on to the stripes. I'm going to be using this white gel called Arctic Freeze by Gelish. I'm pouring some isopropanol alcohol into a small glass dappen dish and I'm going to use this to clean my striper which is this brush here which I'm going to use to create the stripes. I'm coating the striper brush in the Arctic Freeze white Gelish. You could always pour some out if you prefer. Using my ring finger to counterbalance myself, I'm going to lay the brush down on one side of my nail bed and pivot the hand that I'm painting. 
This is going to allow me to stripe the brush across my nail, creating a nice straight line in one fluid motion. So even if you're using ordinary polish, you'll be doing the exact same method. Before I move on to the next finger, I always clean my brush off with alcohol first. And it only takes a second to dry off, and then re-dip the brush into the gel polish and move on to the next finger. Sometimes your stripes can be thinner on one side, but you can just go in and thicken them up. If any of your stripes are slightly wonky or thicker, you can take a small angled liner brush dipped into the alcohol and dried off onto the tissue so it's just damp and you can go in and neaten your lines up. I use that same brush dipped in the alcohol to go around the sides of my fingers on the skin to remove the excess nail polish. Now remember we haven't cured the stripes in the lamp yet so we can remove the polish from the skin. Once we've done that I'm putting it into the lamp for 30 seconds. To seal my nails I'm using Gel 2 Extreme Shine Top Coat. You want to make sure you coat the entire nail and make sure that you apply it between your nail polish and your cuticle area. That little area that we left with no polish on, think of it like a little trench we're now going to fill with clear polish to seal everything in. As I said before, everything we do is to prevent premature lifting at the back and lifting from the front. So always be sure to seal your side walls and cap your front edge. Once I've had a final cure in the lamp, I'm going to take a cotton pad dipped into some of the IPA and I'm going to rub the very top sticky layer off of the nails. It's not going to remove any of the polish, it's just got a sticky inhibition layer that needs to be removed. Be sure to rub the surface of each nail vigorously as though you are removing red nail polish. Then I just use solar oil, which is a cuticle oil, around the cuticles to hydrate, soften and nourish that skin again. If you're following along using ordinary polish, I'd still recommend using a cuticle oil at the end. As usual, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Please hit subscribe if you haven't already done so. You can click on these tutorials now if you want to see more. And don't forget you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram at Show Me Makeup. And you can follow me on Snapchat at Shona Scott. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye.